Hello, fourth and fifth graders. Welcome to the fourth lesson in our pre-work for this fifth grade life for our podcast series. Um, pre-work means that what we're doing, this is what we're doing before we actually start making our own, because we really need to understand um, how the stories are told and what makes them good. So today's lesson is about what makes a good podcast. Well, what does make a good podcast? You guys have been listening to a whole bunch of different podcasts over the last week. You've been listening to stories, you've been listening to some informational things, and as you were going, I asked you to take um, notes and make a list of things that you noticed, not about the story itself, but how the story was told. And you guys came up with a great list. There's all sorts of really good things on here. You said that the narrator told the story well, they weren't just talking, they had a script, uh, it was like an interview, and there were follow-up questions. You talked about um, how there were different points of view. Um, different people told their story, and you could hear that there's points of view, and that all the people involved in the story talked about it and how it affected their lives. You guys also noticed that there was a lot of music in there, and that the music fit the theme, and then it was sometimes quiet, and it was sometimes loud. There was background to the story so that you could understand what was happening. The recording was good. There was no background. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful list. And if you look at this list, and we were to just boil it down to the, the four most important things out of this list, what you're going to see is there are four things that come out of it. So the first one that comes out is that there's a narrator who explains what is happening. So the narrator's job is to tell about someone's story. Not their story, but someone else's story. And that's really important. The narrator is doing the job of telling this whole story. Well, whose story are they telling? Well, they are telling the subject's story. Now, the subject of the story is actually, it's, this is their story, and this is story is about how it affected them. But the subject doesn't actually tell the story. The narrator's job is to tell the story. The subject gets to tell all the really important bits or what it felt like. So they get to tell the part about um, how they felt or what it was like or the really, really exciting part. Um, but they're not the ones telling the story. That's the narrator's job. So the narrator explains what's happening. The subject tells what it feels like. But in order to understand a story, you really have to understand the background of the story. So the narrator's job is also to tell the background of the story so that we understand what's happening. So they are going to tell what happened before the story starts. That's important, because if we don't understand what happened before the story starts, the story itself won't make any sense. So the background is equally important. And then finally, the thing that kind of brings it all together and makes us feel emotional about it is the music. And the music can be one of two ways. It can be music in the background, or it could be musical breaks. I don't know if you were listening and you heard there were two different kinds of music. Sometimes the music was really quiet in the background while people were talking, and it made the mood feel better. And then there were other times where the story just paused entirely while they talked, um, while the music came in and told the story. So the music is really, really important as well. So we have four areas which we're really going to focus on and to see whether or not we can make the best podcast we can out of um, these four areas. Today's assignment, what we're going to do today, is take these four er areas and we're going to listen to some of our podcasts, some of the podcasts other students have done. You're going to grade these assignments. So you're going to listen to four different podcasts. And as you go, you're going to listen to see, did the narrator explain what was happening? Did the subject tell what it felt like, the person whose story it is? Um, did the narrator give good background so that we understand what is happening? And are there music and or musical breaks? So you're going to rate each of these from, oh, that says one to three, but that is actually wrong. It should say... Or sorry, there we go. You're going to rate it from one to three, and you're going to say, did they do a good job in each category? So one being, eh, boy, you know, we really need, they needed some work. They did not do a very good job of this. Uh, two being, oh, that's pretty good, but I can see how they could help a little bit more, or they could do a little bit more work. And three being, wow, they really did a perfect job. And you're going to rate each of these categories. So you're going to listen to the podcast, and you're going to say, okay, did the narrator explain what was happening? 
Mm, they did a two there. Did the subject tell what it felt like or only the most important parts? Wow, yeah, that really happened a lot. So that rates them a three in that spot. Did the narrator give background? You know, they never really did tell us that part of the story. So that's a one. And were there music and music breaks? Sure. So we'll give that a two or a three. You're going to rate each podcast you listen to, and you're going to kind of grade it. Now, fifth graders, you're going to listen to three podcasts from the past, and then you're going to go in and listen to your own one from last year. And you're going to grade your own podcast and say, how did I do last year? And look at it really carefully so that you can grow and improve and make an even better podcast this year. Because last year was really about learning how to do it, and this year is about learning how to do it really, really, really well. That is what I'm asking you to do today. You'll find all of these pieces in this assignment, and uh, enjoy. There's some really great stories in there.